What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gary. This is Become the Music. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm going to be checking out someone I've never heard of before who everyone in the world has listened to except me apparently. This is The Weeknd and I just found out that his song Blinding Lights has passed 4 billion streams on Spotify. 4 billion knocking Ed Sheeran's Shape of You out of the number one position. So he is a huge selling artist and has been around for many years. Again, someone I've just never gotten around to listen to. So I'm going to rectify that by checking out Blinding Lights, just reading in a bit on his history. He is a Canadian artist, of course. Um, his real name is Abel Tesfe. He is of Ethiopian descent, which is very interesting to me because that is a country that is really high on my list to visit. I am a travel photographer and an aficionado of North Africa and old civilizations and that sort of thing. So I'm very stoked to go to Ethiopia someday. It's very high on my list, as I say. So um, the weekend has uh, four Grammys, 20 Billboard Music Awards, 22 Juno Awards, which is a big Canadian award, uh, two MTV Music Video Awards, a Latin Grammy Award, nominations for an Academy and a Primetime Emmy. Wow, that's huge. Um, yeah, he's known for his unconventional music production, artistic reinventions, and his signature use of the falsetto register. Pretty stoked to check this out. This is someone that uh, I've always said, I gotta get around to it. Tonight's the night. Um, it just happened to pop up in my feed that he had uh, hit this 4 billion streaming mark. So I thought, hey, perfect chance to check out The weekend. Let's hit it. So just before we hit play here, I wanna say that to my knowledge, I have never heard this man's music. I have no idea. Is he a rapper? Is it hardcore hip hop? Is it mumble rap like Drake or whatever? Um, is it R&B? Is it pop music? Is it bluesy, rocky? I have no idea. So um, yeah, join me, my first listen of the weekend. Let's go. Buddy, what happened? Interesting opening to the video. Looked like he was laughing but bleeding. Is he drunk? Staggering. Kind of sounds very 80s. The drum machine, the keyboards, very 80s. Good melody. Synth bass. tune in use there. Stop here for a second. So this slowing down is—is is this just 
for the video, for the sake of the video to match those visuals? Or is this, if I was to throw on this album or stream it on Spotify or whatever, is that what I would hear? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, the other th thing I want to say is I don't hate this. I mean, I didn't think I would, but I mean, I mean that, you know, like kind of sarcastically, like, hey, this is really good. I see what they say about his un unconventional production. I'm hearing a lot of things dropping in and out of the soundscape here. Uh, very electronic produced. I'm not hearing any organic instruments as far as like a real guitar, you know, acoustic piano, um, electric bass, that. It's all keyboards, programming, all that kind of stuff, which there's nothing wrong with. Just a comment. I just want to back this up a bit to where it slows down. Here. So is that on, is that the way it is? Or is it just for the video? Nice. It's very, very good. Okay, that's why he's bleeding. Reminds me of something from the 80s that I can't quite put my finger on. Yeah, I don't think a guy with his money has to hitchhike, but anyways, that's just a joke. Um, very cool. Very cool. Tell me what else, what else I should check out by the weekend, because that was a great song. Very formulaic, very straightforward, aside from that little slowdown part in the middle. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with formula songwriting whatsoever. Uh, I like his voice. I mean, there's a lot of processing going on, but... Um, yeah, I like it. I like the melody. It was very good. Um, I'm just going to quickly look up whether he wrote this, whether like whether he has songwriters come in and work with him is what I mean. Is he writing with a producer? Does he sit down and write everything himself? I'm just going to quickly uh, check that out and I'll get back to you in two seconds. Just back after reading in a bit onto the song Blinding Lights. It was indeed written uh, by The weekend with uh, also several producers, songwriters kicking in. The main songwriter was the producer Max Martin. Max Martin. So um, he was the mastermind behind this track. And yes, very 80s influenced. I'm assuming that um, The weekend had input on probably the melody and the lyrics. If not some of the music, maybe someone can help me out by dropping a comment below. So yeah, um, man, biggest streamed song ever. Four billion plays. That's that's insanity, man. That's just insanity. Wow. So uh, weekend fans, let me know. What should I check out? Uh, how diverse is he? What's some interesting stuff I could look into from him? Um, yeah, pretty cool. Liked my first listen to him. I'm, I've probably heard him in passing when I've been in a shopping center or something or a car going by, whatever, but I wouldn't know it. But that, yeah, I liked it. It's good. Good song. Great song for sure. Uh, thanks for joining me. I will hopefully see you in the next video and peace out for now. Have a good night.